everyone welcome to ecoholics in this video we'll be discussing what is autonomous investment and induced investment so what is autonomous investment autonomous investment is that investment which does not depend upon changes in income level simply we can see that autonomous investment is independent of level of income since it is independent of level of income therefore it is income inelastic now an example of autonomous investment is government expenditure so expenditure done by government on building schools hospitals roads etc are considered as autonomous investment why is such investment considered as autonomous investment this is because such expenditures are incurred by government irrespective of income or profits government undertakes such expenditure not for profit motive but for promoting social welfare let's represent autonomous investment graphically so we have national income on x axis and we have investment on y axis now as we have seen that autonomous investment is that investment which does not depend upon level of income and therefore and therefore uh, autonomous investment we represent autonomous investment by a horizontal straight line parallel to x axis this shows that whatever is the level of income our autonomous investment always remains same as it is income inelastic now coming on to induced investment induced investment is that investment which is affected by changes in income level when national income increases people have more money to spend and therefore the demand for goods and services increases and to meet this increasing demand for goods and services greater output has to be produced but to produce greater output more capital goods like machines equipments etc are required of course to have more capital good we need more investment thus we can say that when national income increases more investment has to be made in capital goods more investment has to be made in capital good to meet the increasing demand let's represent induced investment graphically now so again we have national income on x axis and we have investment on y axis now the graph for induced investment looks something like this this represents our induced investment now why does our graph looks like this so now this portion this portion represents autonomous investment as we have already discussed before autonomous investment is that investment which is independent of level of income so even when our national income is zero some investment is always undertaken and as national income increases our demand for goods and services increase and to meet the increasing demand more output has to be produced and for more output to be produced more capital goods are required and therefore as national income increases our investment also increases so from the graph we can say that as national income increases investment increases or we can say that induced investment increases that's it for this video for more such videos do like and subscribe our channel thank you